Nordex has been in this location since uh, 1970 and we're the only Canadian manufacturer of explosives. Ten years ago the philosophy was we primarily were looking at the mining industry as the source for our clients and again part of the strategy moving forward was to diversify so that uh, we would reach a point where we're about 50 percent mining and 50 percent other and other is uh, construction, quarries, uh, that type of business. But one of the tough things is always finding employees, especially in an industry like ours where for obvious reasons it's uh, an industry where there are some inherent risks involved. So for us finding uh, competent people and then more importantly being able to train those people and bring them to the point where they're going to be able to work in our industry both economically but more important safely. A company that's aggressively growing a lot of our operational um, revenues are being directed right back into the company to buy more equipment and keep the company growing so any additional support that we get is, is certainly very helpful in moving the company forward at a quicker rate. This line because it's a, a brand new product Every single person here had to be trained because there is no knowledge of this product in North America. It all had to come out of Australia. So all of us had to become familiar with it and then the next phase of that of course was training the actual uh, people that are manufacturing the product and then taking it another step further, training the people from a technical side as to actually how to use the, the product properly. Uh, out in the marketplace. The reality is, is without funding from a group like the Eves Landry Foundation and Fednor, it would have been almost impossible for a company like Nordex to channel uh, the resources that were necessary in order to get this up and running. And what it's done for this area in particular is right from the initial phase, we've already hired uh, 10 new employees that are specific to that production line. And as we move forward, uh, we're going to be looking at adding second and third shifts. Each one of those shifts uh, inherently will be a minimum of 10 more new jobs. So the, from an economic standpoint, uh, in an area like we're in in Northern Ontario, it certainly has a huge impact on the economy of the community.